but I am in beautiful San Francisco. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just gonna go around. So far, I am so impressed by this place. It is such a beautiful place. If you've never been to San Francisco, definitely, definitely include it in your bucket list. Um, it's such a different vibe, and just just look around. Oh my gosh, it's it's so different. I mean, I've I've been to LA and I've been to London, I've been to Montreal, but this place is completely different, and I love it. You know, and um, yeah, I, I don't really know where I'm going right now, except there's some like beautiful artwork. I guess this is kind of like their version of Times Square. Oh, look at this guy. He's like dressed up as like a, like a sergeant or something. Wow. Let's take a look at all this beautiful artwork. Um, let's see. Wow. Look at that. So beautiful. Alright, so I'm walking up this really, really steep hill. It's quite a, it's a good workout, I think. See how far up I am? I don't know if you can see it, but... Here, let me flip the camera. Maybe... Ooh, I am like winded right now. You guys have no idea. Here, I'll show you how hilly this is over here. See? It's pretty hilly up there. All right, so I have managed to get over the hill and I'm going downhill now, and hopefully I encounter something interesting down the street here. Looks like there's a bay area, um, but I just wanted to um, kind of talk about my first impressions of San Francisco. Um, oh, look at that. It's a little streetcar. Isn't that interesting? Um, it's very hilly. I see all these like really st steep hills and like um, I'll show you down here. Down here we have sort of a downhill slope. I don't know if you guys can tell but anyways my first impressions of San Francisco. I really love it. I think it's a beautiful place. Um, it's nothing like New York or London it's definitely different it's it's got a different vibe for sure um, and the weather is great it is currently I think 69 or 70 degrees um, so it's not too bad maybe not quite bikini weather or shorts short weather short shorts whatever um, but I mean I could probably wear shorts right now if I wanted to it's a, it's a little windy um, but it's definitely different. It's definitely different from LA. Um, and the people seem very friendly around here, I would say. Um, wow, my voice just echoed through that little, little hallway there. Um, sorry, I'm like stuttering. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, we're coming up to this little neighborhood here. And I don't know if you can see at the end of street there there's like looks like a bay area I don't know if I can focus in on that maybe if I get closer we can oh and look there's another streetcar coming up um, so I might try and get on one of these streetcars this must be a very interesting ride see it's coming up right there ah they're so cute um but yeah so so there's this place called Fisherman's Wharf and I was told that it is one of the most iconic places in San Francisco along with many other attractions around here. Um, there's the Alcatraz Island where you have to take the ferry to get to the island. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story of Alcatraz, a lot of prisoners, American prisoners. I don't really know the full story, but um, there were a lot of prisoners that escaped from Alcatraz and they even made a movie about it. 
um, I think it's called Escape from Alcatraz. And um, these prisoners, you know, literally escaped from the prison. Um, and so I don't really know the full story on it, but that's what I was told. And also, I think there's a little neighborhood, it's a very quaint neighborhood, um, where they shot um, episodes of Full House. And um, Full House, of course, was a show in the late 80s, early 90s with uh, John Stamos, I think, is in that show. Um, and the Olsen twins were on that show, I believe. I don't know, I may be too young to remember that show, but, uh, oh look, there, those little doggies. Wait, what? Little doggies. Oh, oh well. Um, but I'm just kind of going around here, exploring the city. So I believe I am in Fisherman's Wharf. Um, it's quite a interesting place, I have to say. And it, it literally is like a seafood like sort of area. Um, they have Joe's Crab Shack around here. We have that in New York too. Um, I'm not a big seafood fan, but I mean, I might eat here later. Oh my gosh, they have In-N-Out, yes. Finally found In-N-Out burgers, yes. And if you guys don't know what In-N-Out is, it's like a fast food restaurant. It's kind of like Burger King, um, but it's, I don't know. They have like, they have these fries, they're amazing. They're, they put like some kind of sauce on it, it's so good. It is like heating up right now. I'm kind of burning. I don't know how far I've walked. I don't have my Fitbit anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, I think um, I've walked quite a bit. So I'm going to try to find the Bay Area. They have some bars around here. I walked past Chinatown and Little Italy, I think. Well, I'm not really big on fishing, but this place makes me want to go fishing. I made it to this bay area here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I think that's Golden Gate in the back there. Oh my gosh. Sand. I'm walking in sand. This is definitely worth it. Um, so I can't believe I am in sunny San Francisco. <laughs> most unique places I've ever been to in my entire life and um, it's just so peaceful out here and it seems like the people are very friendly and stuff like that and they have some pretty quaint areas um, so yeah it's just kind of a nice little walk around here and stuff <laughs> Street right now. I'm trying to find this Filipino restaurant, maybe grab something to eat, and um, yeah, so it's been a quite a trip so far. And I just got a just got my nails done, got a pedicure done for the first time in my entire life. Felt good, and um, yeah, it was quite relaxing. I'm I'm glad I. I'm glad my friend suggested that I get a pedicure, so yeah, that was quite exciting. Yeah, I am headed towards this restaurant. Man, I do feel like one of those YouTubers though, being here in San Francisco and everything. Um, but it's been quite a trip and I would definitely come back, kind of recap everything that I've done here in San Francisco. Um, so Fisherman's Wharf yesterday, I have not been to the Golden Gate Bridge. Hopefully um, I get to either today or sometime this weekend. My friends are taking me there. So I'm hoping to at least get a glimpse of the Golden Gate Bridge and hopefully um, go to this place called Lombard Street. Um, 
where they have the famous Crooked Street, right? Um, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure where I'm going here. All right, so I just finished having lunch. It was really good. I had some authentic Filipino food. Um, it was like sweet pork with uh, garlic rice, egg, and tomato. Really good. It's like really good comfort food. So, yeah. So I guess later today, my friends and I are gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory in Union Square. So I'm headed towards this like, this bubble tea place. I, I kinda am in a mood for bubble tea, so I'm gonna head there. towards Pier 36. It is apparently a very famous pier. Wait, no. Pier 36. Wait, Pier 39. Um, pier 39, they have quite a bit of attractions down here. Down there, apparently. They have some seals. Sea lions. Seals? Sea lions? Well, whatever. Sea lions, seals. Um, and you get to kind of watch them and feed them if you want. Which, um, so I'm, I'm pretty intrigued by it. And uh, I think uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is also right around this vicinity. You know, I've, I've been to all these places and this is by far one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in the United States. And um, yeah, I'm just so impressed by all this. It's sunny, the people are beautiful, the weather is beautiful and just everything about it is so beautiful. So I am here now at Pier 39. See the sign there? It's Pier 39, Pier 30, Pier 39, okay. And yeah, I guess I'm just gonna kind of look around. They have an aquarium. Do you hear the music? Here. There's like music going on. So yeah, welcome to Pier 39, everybody. Look at this lady. Yeah. <laughs> Doing, yeah. This is like really cool. My gosh. They have Bubba Gump Shrimp restaurant behind me. And look at this big crab statue. See that? It's a big cra crab statue. Let me get a closer look. Let's, yeah, see that? It's a crab statue. Right behind me here, we have sea lions. I don't know if you can hear them. They're so cute. So this is sort of like an area where people can um, watch the sea lions and kind of take pictures and stuff. And um, directly straight ahead of me here is Alcatraz Island. Look, there's a ferry, ferry right behind me, just pulling in. Wow, that's going pretty fast. Jeez. I think they're headed towards the Alcatraz Island. There it is. So. Yeah, so it's an old prison. A lot of people, a lot of films were shot there. And I believe one of the most famous prisoner, prisoners that escaped from Alcatraz is uh, Al Capone. Look at the seagulls flying right above me. Right there, flying right above me. So beautiful. <laughs>
heading back to Rochester. It has been real San Francisco. It has been real, I'm telling you. I'm definitely coming back um, probably next year, who knows. I'm graduating college, so I'm seriously thinking about moving out to the West. This is like, this was probably the most chillest city I've ever been to. And yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I almost didn't want to leave San Francisco, but this was such a beautiful city, so breathtaking. And I just wanted to quick give a thank you and a shout out to my very good friend Malika for letting me stay. They were so nice. Her family was so nice to me, and I I wouldn't have I I wouldn't have enjoyed this trip without them. So they really really made this trip extra special for me. So thank you guys, and um, until next time.